Okay, so we have almost three hours of counting now. It's a quarter to 11, started at 8. And we have now, from the Election Commission side, 150 results and trends. Uh, overall, it seems uh, pretty clear now that the next five years uh, in Patna, we're going to have Nitish Kumar. Uh, and, uh, well, I, 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 I don't see uh, maybe some numbers can go up and go down. But uh, this seems to be the overall trend. Uh, so, Seema... Um, what do you make of this? Yeah, pretty much. You're, you're very right that that seems to be the drift and it seems to just, it'll just get, it move in the similar direction. Uh, currently, it's interesting to see how the various alliances shape up within. So you have RJD and BJP with the same number of seats, oh, yeah. which means there's a spectacular performance by the RJD currently exactly. because it contested 86 seats less than the BJP. It contested merely 100 seats, mm -hmm. as did the JDU. So the numbers currently suggest that the, the whole alliance has worked very well. Which is not to say that the BJP has not, because the uh, the Hindustani Awam, the Mocha, the Ham Secular, which is uh, Maji. Maji's party, has done uh, quite well because there was this thing that there will be this no show. But the BJP has just been not able to push and give it the momentum that it needed to win this election. Because the BJP took a lot of the burden on itself. It didn't have much of an organizational base in Bihar, but it gave itself 186 seats with the assumption that the Prime Minister's rallies, Amit Shah's presence, and the entire party's machinery, the very coherent, uh, organized campaign would push uh, this, you know, will give them the escape velocity to win this poll. Uh, that doesn't seem to have happened. And the very slow kind of lane, uh, RJD, JDU alliance seems to have had, you know, better ball bearings, better oiling, more low-key. They seem to have got it right so far. Sima Lalu, um, through this election, uh, the attack of the BJP was on Lalu, the talk of Jangal Raj, and uh, uh, even uh, during the campaign, Nitish, uh, one got the sense right through that uh, he does not seem to be entirely comfortable that they, they had only one rally together. It now seems that uh, you may well have, I mean, uh, BJP and Lalu at the moment are 44 seats each, uh, but we may just have Lalu as the single largest party in Bihar. So what, is, what does that tell yeah. you about? It, it just uh, tells me that Lalu and BJP have a very good understanding of each other. They're both very political creatures and the BJP knew from the very start that they need to go after Lalu. So the whole attack or looking to kind of confuse his voter base was very focused. So I must give f full marks to the BJP and the RJD for figuring the politics that drove this election. And of course, JDU was sort of, you know, did very well. So without the whole development rhetoric and the development gains that Nitish Kumar brought to the table, RJD would not have had the power. But this is, this is brilliant. When we now, uh, with the results here, you look back at the election rhetoric in retrospect, and it's so clear how political and sharp and savvy both the BJP and the RJD were to recognize each other as, you know, rivals, uh, numero uno, if you like. <laughs> that's, that's nicely put. Uh, we will, of course, carry on with uh, more analysis as uh, trends become clearer. Uh, as of now, uh, clearly, uh, as we said in the beginning, uh, it seems Nitish Kumar in Patna uh, for the next five years. Uh, please keep watching this channel and uh, we will come back to you for more. Thank you.